Did you know that there's a way of split testing your Facebook and Instagram posts? Well, uh, there's probably different ways about it. I'm going to show you the way that I usually make posts on Facebook and Instagram. It's using the Meta Business Suite, right? Um, let's see, Meta Business Suite. So when you go there, click on content and click on create post. And I'll just kind of give you an example of this here. And whether you use, uh, let's just start with Facebook. Let's just do Facebook here for now. And so instead of writing your post, you want to split test it. You go down to where the chemistry icon is, okay? Underneath, underneath where you write your post, click on the chemistry icon. And here is where you can do multiple versions, not just two versions. You could do more, more than two versions. And basically now I have, you know, you can click on see how it works by clicking here, by the way, choose different for each version will be shown. It's actually a good idea to click on this because they may change how it works over time. And you want to see what the latest uh, method that they use is. So click on see how it works. It says here, you can test different text, photos, links. You want to compare each version will be shown to a different group of your followers for 30 minutes to determine the proper form. And after 30 minutes, what they, I believe what they do is they will just get rid of, not get rid of, but they will now show the winning version to the rest of your followers. So it's kind of like, if let's say you had a hundred followers or a uh, hundred followers on your Facebook page. And this only applies to Facebook business pages at this time. Uh, sadly, as far as I know, those of you who know something different, comment below. There's no way of doing the split testing on Facebook profile posts where your friends and family and and people are. I know a lot of you get a lot of engagement there. I have uh, painstakingly moved my Facebook audience to my Facebook business page over many years, uh, over multiple years. And now I get way more engagement on my Facebook business page than my personal profile. So this works really well for me. I haven't actually done this kind of split testing. I really should, but someone asked me this question. So I figured I would show it to you. Um, I'm too lazy to do split testing on Facebook posts, on social media posts, but I do split testing on my so subject lines on my email newsletter all the time. But this is probably what I one of the things I should start to, to consider doing. Anyway, long story short, uh, you can do a, let's say you're curious, hmm, I've got a relevant image for my for my post. Um, should I use the image should I, or should I do text only posts? I can pretty much tell you, usually images win uh, hands down. Uh, but, you know, if you're curious, you can test it yourself. Um, so da, 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 here's my beautiful text only post. I've got a great article here. I'm going to write it, write it for you all right now. And so that's one of my posts and there's no link, no photo. And the second one, I'm going to take the same article and this time I'm gonna add a photo. Now, I uh, I don't know, I'm gonna add this photo here, random, ran, random photo. Okay, I'm gonna click save and there it is. Version one is just this, version two has this plus whatever that, I guess that book, book image there. And then uh, you can set a time. I'm not gonna go through the rest of this because I talk about this elsewhere. But um, but I just wanted to show you the split test. And when you click publish, I was going to say, if you have 100 people, right, they'll show it to, we don't, by the way, we don't know what the percentage of people that they show it to. Some people are guessing, I'm guessing it's probably 20%. So if you have 100 people that you that injure in your audience, they'll show, they'll show version A to let's say 10 people and see what the engagement rate is. They'll show version B to 10 people, the another 10 people, the separate 10 people. To show what the version so version b people are not going to see version a version a people are not going to see version b and after half an hour they'll say hey it looks like version a got more engagement so we're going to show it to the other 80 people in your audience so, again we don't know what the percentage is that they use but obviously it's a minority that they tested on before they show the winner to the majority so i hope this is helpful and please go ahead and give this a try if you are diligent enough to do so. I'm too lazy to do it. But some of you are like, hey, I'm diligent. I want to test two different images or I want to test uh, one with a link, one without a link, or maybe just one with a link preview and one has a link in the post, but without the link preview. Test different things and please do comment below and share with us what you discovered. Thanks.